Hello. <laughs> you starting? No, you said. Oh yeah, I'm going to do it. <laughs> hey, we've made it to part four of the Love Your Home podcast series. That's right. And this week we're going to be talking about why keeping up with the Joneses is probably robbing you of some joy. Mm. Three, two, psych. <laughs> <laughs> Hey guys, thank you so much for tuning in to another episode of Your Home Renewed. I'm Jen. And I'm Trent. And we are still talking the about the... F- oh. Yeah. Today, we are going to be talking about keeping up with the Joneses. Or better, not keeping up with the Joneses. And who are the Joneses? I don't know. They've been around for a long time, yeah, though. it could be and the Millers. Everybody is still jealous of them. I know. It could be the Waltons. It could be yeah. the Gutentabens. <laughs> The good mornings <laughs> or good afternoons. Yeah, yeah I don't know. I, it's probably not even a name. <laughs> okay, so when we were first married, we've told the story about how I worked for Dave Ramsey, and he talked about stuffitis, mm. which is basically the illness of wanting to have more They're stuff everything. or yeah. um, you, having too much stuff, mm-hmm. you know, that, which can cause the clutter. We've yeah. discussed clutter. Mm -hmm. In the other episode. So yeah, let's recap on what we've already talked about. We talked about focusing on what is good in your home Mm -hmm. in part one. Yep. Part two was focus on what you can control. Which is likely nothing. Not very much, (laughs) probably. (laughs) And in part three, we talked about keeping your home clutter free and how that can be maybe robbing you of joy as well. Mm -hmm. So we're talking about the comparison game. Yeah. Do you do that? I... I do. I think we all do. Yeah. Um, but, you know, there's also that part, being a blogger, being an influencer, there's that kind of guilty party mm-hmm. because, you know, I've gotten the comments of, wow, I wish my house was as clean as yours. And and how do you keep your house so clean with two boys? And all of those kind of comments. Mm-hmm. And, and the reality is we don't. When I take the shot... I shove all the crud out of the, <laughs> the photo. The frame, yeah. So it's all, most... all the junk's behind the camera yeah. lens. So just picture this. Every time you're looking at a blogger's photo or an Instagram influencer's photo, just think right behind them is all of the junk and toys and yeah. pillows and last week's dishes still mm-hmm. piled up, and you just don't see it. No. So Unless they're taking a picture of the kitchen, then there's no dishes. <laughs> But those dishes are stacked on the right. floor beside them. In the bathtub. Yeah. No. Uh, well, I do think that there is a time, like if you're about to have company or um, you're going to do a video tour of your home, mm-hmm. most likely everything is clean. Or it's like, I just cleaned the entire house. Hurry up. Let's take pictures. Yeah. That's kind of a true element. Mm. But, you know, when you're trying to run everything and keep things yeah. going. So there but, is... But when you see other bloggers or vloggers or mm-hmm. influencers, are you... Do you sometimes think, man, I wish I had it as put together yes. as them? Yes. Even yeah. though I know in my mind that they don't have it together, mm-hmm. that little earworm will get mm-hmm. in. Every and time. thinking, um, I'm not as good as them. Mm-hmm. My house is not as nice as theirs. My ceilings aren't as tall as theirs. We my talk tools about... aren't as new as theirs. Yeah. So let's talk about how playing the comparison game can actually rob you of your joy of actually Mm -hmm. loving your home. And I would say, you know, the first thing to think about is that you're buying outside of your means. Oh, yeah. So that's going to cause you either financial distress, um, you know, job stress that you have to work more. So Mm. now you're working longer hours, you're away from your family. So all of that added stress can actually take your happiness away from you. Yeah. So you may have to make some uh, concessions and maybe come to the conclusion that, hey, I don't have to have what they have. That's right. Um, And, you know, you can read blogs such as notinggrace.com that tells you how to That's make a shameless plug well, whatever <laughs> this is what was what we're here for uh you know how to take how, when you see the expensive yeah. lamp and how you can do it on the cheap not 
in my home. No it's so cheap. That's right. And then she shows you on her blog how to do things on the cheap. Yeah. So that. Because we're broke. Yes. And happy. Yeah. That's right. You know, do I wish we had more? Yeah. Mm-hmm. But. Yeah. But we, we are even keel. And you know we're what? Not... Let's, let's redefine what broke is because we're not broke. No, we're not broke. Because we have a camera over there that's a phone and a computer. Yeah. We have these microphones here. They yeah. weren't cheap. No. But they weren't the most expensive microphones either. No, but we also didn't go into debt purchasing them. That's right. So also, just because your stuff isn't as nice as someone else's, yeah. let's not get into the uh, habit of calling ourselves broke. Well, that's true. If we're not really broke, there's probably some... Well, thank you for that. Some broke people out there that are, well, I think maybe they need to hear that, you know? Yeah. Because we always think, ah, because that's another earworm that tells us you don't even have enough because you're broke. You know? Wow. And then maybe someone is compl- comparing themselves to, wow, if, well, if they're broke. If they're broke, I'm Because nice, I don't even have these killer microphones <laughs> to talk into in my living room. I don't know if anybody really is thinking about killer microphones. <laughs> yeah, they are. You know, you know who you are because I am. Let's talk about another element that could possibly be robbing you of joy, and that is that pressure to impress. Mm. So if you are following the, um, I've got to have this game or I've got to put off this status, mm. then you are always trying to become fake and, and mm-hmm. trying to impress others. And then it's kind of like in the music world. Since we're oh, yeah. musicians, if you this is your first time tuning in, we have lived our lives as professional musicians. But it's in that music world of the people who are constantly dropping their resume, mm. saying, oh, I played with this person, or I toured oh, yeah. with this person. Mm. And it's almost like you have to, they're always kind of trying to, to impress validate, you. Yeah, to validate themselves. Right. Well, know. this is how talented I am because right. I've been able to perform with this many people. Yeah, that's right. And yeah, that's, exactly. That's, uh, you yeah, know, yeah. kind of icky. Yeah, it can be for sure. I mean, sometimes you need to 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 impress someone if you're, uh, you know, trying to get a job or something. But you know, in general, when you're having just casual conversations with one another, it's like, well, let me tell you about myself. I have 120 thousand followers on my Instagram. <laughs> you do? Yeah. Hundred oh negative 120 thousand followers. <laughs> but uh, yeah, you don't usually start a sentence with that. Well, okay, so if we go beyond stuffitis mm. and and the the acquiring of everything, I think that it even can boil down to their house is cleaner, their marriage mm. is happier, their kids behave better. Yeah. I mean, it it can be so many things whereas I mean, if if you came and lived with us for a month, you would be yeah. like, "Okay, they're just like us." Yeah. And yeah. I think that if we had that They'd be impressed. <laughs> that they're just like us. They'd be like, oh my gosh, we are all the same. <laughs> and you would be like, you wouldn't have any kind of stuff fight us around because you'd be like, I don't even want that. I've got better stuff than they do. <laughs> oh. Uh, that's funny. That is funny. Good times. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so, <laughs> uh, sometimes these things uh, can also lead to marital issues. Well, of course, you know, um, the one number one cause of divorce mm. in America is due to finance issues, yeah, financial problems, you know, too much debt. So if you're spending too much in order to get that look that you want for your home or to make your home have the status that you think yeah. it should have, but you're and, not, and that's now probably can't afford your bills. Yeah, and that's probably on top of oh, I needed that new truck, oh, and yeah. uh, this new thing, and, and that new thing, and we're going to take it. Yeah, all of it adds up. I mean, your home, you know, some things you have to purchase. You yes. know, if you need a new roof, you might have to spend the money, and there's insurance for that. But all of that to say, you know, you don't have to have the schmanciest refrigerator. No. Or something like that. You can get something that's just, that does the job. But anyway, to, you know, peel back the curtain and reveal the the smoke and mirrors mm-hmm. of like the best refrigerator yeah. or the best appliances, many times, 
majority of the times, the brand has sponsored with that blogger, that oh, yeah. influencer, either giving them the product for free or saying, we will pay you this much to promote this product. So that is something else. If you are in that comparison game and you are relying on the word of a of an influencer, yeah. there are some times where those items have been part of the promotion. Yeah. So what so, you're saying is you don't really know how they acquired it. That's right. They may be in a lot of debt having mm-hmm. bought it, and you don't want that. No, but if or, it, if it has gonna, been given to them, yeah. they do have to disclose it. So you see the hashtag ad or sponsored or well, something okay. like That's that. That's a clue. So they do have to disclose that yeah. this has been a sponsored post. But let's just say it wasn't a sponsored post and you just see somebody with a brand new top of the line refrigerator. Right. And you think, oh my gosh, I wish I could have that refrigerator, but do you want the debt that might have come along with it? No. But you don't know all the details behind what, so, how somebody acquired something. That's so right. It's usually not worth, you know. Well, and some people upset about. like I love to buy scratch and dent items. Mm. So you, the outside of the refrigerator looks fancy, and it's like a thirty-five hundred dollar refrigerator that you were able to get for thirteen hundred mm-hmm. because there's a great big scratch down the side that no one's going to see because it's squished up against Putting the it wall. Putting on the wall. Yep. So. What does it matter if it, it if matter. it still operates mm-hmm. and you're just saving money? And guess what? Of that you, scratch? you get the new one, and then somebody drops a, uh, a spackling knife down the front of it and puts a scratch in it. Your your brand new uh, refrigerator. You remember that? <laughs> you remember doing that? You get a brand new refrigerator. I don't know what you're talking about. And she drops a spackling knife. You know, because you think know we need to go on to the oh, okay other, next point. You know, that's point right here. So. <laughs> Okay, so another marital issue that could come up if you are trying to live under this facade is that, you know, your partner, your your spouse, whoever, may feel like they're not contributing enough mm. or they're not being the, the provider because they can never please the person because it's never good enough. Yeah, it's never good enough. So that's going to cause nothing but strife. Mm-hmm. And even it doesn't even have to be a marital relationship. It could be, you know, two roommates yeah. who, you know, they're always wanting to do this to where we live. Well, yeah. we can't I can't yeah. contribute and, mm-hmm. you know, it's that can just cause dissension yeah. between anyone and and that would definitely not be a way to make you love your home. That's right. <laughs> How, this is the tips on how to not live. How your to home. not love your home, have stuffitis. <laughs> <laughs> uh, plus, at the end of it all, it's just exhausting. It really is to try to keep up with the uh, Joneses or the Flubergoodles, whatever I said earlier. <laughs> It's just well, too tough. You're constantly chasing that stimulation, mm-hmm. so you're running after trying to catch the tiger's tail. <laughs> yeah. So you're going to be, you know, completely and utterly worn out yep. by that. Mm-hmm. And then I think it would also be pretty tiring keeping that lie going, mm. living with the lie that, yes, I'm able to afford all of this and don't look at my debt to income ratio because I'm yeah. $200,000 in debt trying to buy this truck and this yeah. couch and this swimming pool and, yep. mm-hmm. you know, that, all of those yep. things. Mm-hmm. Um, also we've come to realize that the more you have, the more you have to maintain. Yeah. Okay. So we were driving Mm. by a house. It was beautiful. It was up on the bluff and it was, you had a beautiful sunset view, huge, probably 8,000 square foot home. And the first thing that we said was, I don't want to pay those electrical bills. Mm -mm. (laughs) Yeah. You know how much it's going to cost to heat that place? (laughs) So you do have to have that reality. See, see, honey, that's why I can't give you tall ceilings because you know how much more square footage that that adds? Well, and heat rises, and and so our energy bill would be more expensive. Since this is the last episode of the series, let's discuss, you know, the main points that I think that we should walk away with, which are, you know, first off, what if trying to create this home that you dream of or this lifestyle that you think that you are deserving of, what if that robs you from actually pursuing 
your own dreams? Hmm. You know, another thing to take away is if you think that you are putting forth your best face when maybe it's more of a facade, yeah. you may be causing someone else to stumble right, and be jealous of what you have, even though you're kind of covering for your own maybe inadequacies yeah. or something. So if you are trying to put up this fake way of living yeah. and you're successful at it, yeah. then now you're just causing that next person yeah, to kinda, follow suit. Right. Yeah. And that's just not And I'm sure we're thing. we're maybe we're guilty of that. Well, that's what I said but, earlier when yeah. we were talking about, you know, people thinking that my house is super clean or, yeah. you know, right. whatever it is. And that's we should all come together and go, hey, we may look like we have it all together, but we don't, not all the time. No. We're being real about it, you know. That's why I sometimes love to do those dirty home tours. <laughs> like, okay, here's here's the reality. And there I get so many incredible compliments saying, Thank you so much for showing the reality. Mm. All we ever see is the pretty stuff. So, yeah. you know, thank you for being real. Yeah. Yeah. You know, here's a bonus tip. All yeah. Right. This isn't even scripted. Fine. <laughs> uh, Fine. Is it scripted? This is not even scripted. Uh, but yeah, so bonus tip time would be, you know what What I think is an overlooked aspect in all this? What? The children. Okay. Because here's the thing. I guarantee you, if you asked your kids if they would rather have the nicest home on the block or the nicest interior decor on the block mm -hmm. or just a great family life, they'd probably just tell you, yeah, I'd pretty much like a great family life. Right. So keep that in mind too, that, you know, your kids just want the home to be a happy place. Mm -hmm. And if you're not happy or if you're making a fake happy, yeah, you're not hitting the mark. No. You know, and you should love your home by making it a great home. And that doesn't mean decor only. Right. You know, it goes way beyond the decor. And sometimes you have to leave the home dirty so you can hang out with the kids a little bit more. That's right. And if, and if your house is a little bit dirty, but you look back and go, well, it's kind of dirty. I haven't had time to clean, but we've sat at the table and laughed the mm -hmm. last few nights. It's worth it. You know, a few years ago, um, one of my college roommates did a story, uh, well, I think it was on Facebook or something, where she was holding her baby, and she was talking about how I should be cleaning the house, and my baseboards are covered with tons of dog hair and dust, mm. but I'm choosing my baby over baseboards. Oh, yeah. And mm. I always thought that that was such Babies a... Babies over baseboards. That's a shirt. <laughs> Coming to you soon. <laughs> <laughs> but I think that that's a beautiful sentiment to, you know, focus on what is important in the moment. Yeah. Um, and sometimes the most important thing is not making sure that everything is in its place, even though we have talked about the benefits of that. If th any of those tips that we gave in this series and the previous episodes are keeping you from taking that moment of coloring with your child yeah. or building blocks, that is always going to be way more important than anything. And then th in that, you will find happiness in your home. Wow. That's it. I have a second bonus tip. Okay. And another po product idea uh -huh. that I'm going to sell here right now. Okay. If you want time with your baby. Mm hmm and you need the baseboards clean. You know how light babies are, right? So, no, stay with me. On the, like, the, the bottom end, <laughs> or the, di if you made, like, a onesie that had a, just, a like, a Swiffer, a Swiffer on it, and then you... You can make it into a rabbit. It could be an Easter-themed yeah, outfit, and it'll yeah. look like a rabbit's tail. Yeah, a rabbit's tail. And then you can hold the baby and and go across the baseboards. We're gonna need a uh, like a disclaimer at the bottom of this. Like, please don't actually do this. But no, you take your baby and you rub the baby. Then you're getting some baby time, some face time, and getting the, those baseboards wiped up. And you're causing your baby to get really sick from all of the dust. N95 mask, baby. <laughs> 
stick a pacifier inside it. <laughs> <laughs> Get it on their face. You can use them for hours. Yeah. You are so fired. <laughs> <laughs> So in conclusion, all in all, the whole pursuit of keeping up with the Joneses, you're never going to end. Never going to do it. The bar will just continue to get higher and higher, and Mm -hmm. it's just a never-ending process. So you just have to stop, and you have to find that contentment with what you have. And that goes all the way back to the very first episode of this series where you focus on what is good and sometimes the only thing that is good is coloring that picture with your child Mm -hmm. or sitting with your dog while you're drinking a cup of coffee or I mean whatever it may Mm -hmm. be in that moment if everything else is just an upheaval around you so so maybe we since we start with focusing what is good you really end on focusing on what is good. And counting your blessings. How about that? And being grateful for what you have. Mm. Mm, mm. Mm, 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 mm. Mm, 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 focus on what is good. Uh, uh. Focus <laughs> on what is good. That is not going to be a hit song. No, no. Thanks so much for tuning in. If you don't want to miss the next episode, make sure that you subscribe either on your favorite podcast listening station or on YouTube where you can just see how crazy and zany that we really are. Or just do both. Okay. Thanks, guys, for tuning in. Have a great week, and we will be back next week. See you then.